Hi everybody, it's the month of May. We're making all things Mexican and celebrating Chicken de Mayo. Uh, at the end of this month, we're gonna make some chicken nachos, chicken tinga nachos. Uh, this is one of the recipes that you'll need to use if you're gonna follow along with uh, that live session. Uh, we're gonna make it some pico de gallo today. Uh, pico de gallo is pretty easy to make. Uh, it's got roughly two tomatoes chopped and the, sorry, like about a small dice, small dice of white onion, some one jalapeno minced, two cloves of garlic minced, two tablespoons of cilantro, and one lime. So let's go ahead and put this pico de gallo together. We're basically gonna start by putting our tomatoes in the bowl here. Again, two tomatoes, half a white onion. You can use a yellow if you want, uh, a yellow onion if you wanted. The white's just more traditional for a pico de gallo, a little bit milder in flavor. Cilantro, jalapeno, garlic. Put it behind me here, out of the way. We're gonna put some olive oil on it in it first. Nice little coat of olive oil. Eh, it's probably about a quarter cup. Our lime, fresh lime. That's a pretty lime. I'll put all that lime on there. Season it with a little pepper, fresh cracked pepper. Really pretty pepper. And a little bit of salt for flavor. And then we're just gonna mix this all up. And we'll be ready for our party tonight. We're gonna make a little fajitas tonight for the family here. We're in Iowa. So this is gonna be a little salsa to go with it on the side. Nice even mix. We'll put it in the refrigerator here when we're done. And it'll last probably about two days. I'll give it two days. There you go. Very easy peasy. Pico de gallo. Again, we're gonna put this on top of some nachos at the end of the month. All right, in our last video we made some pico de gallo and I'm gonna show you how to turn that pico de gallo with some avocados into some great guacamole. So, select avocados, you wanna be a little bit soft. These are a little riper than I would like, but uh, we're here in Iowa and they don't have the ripest avocados in the grocery store today but these should still work for making a quick guacamole for dinner tonight. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get the uh, avocado meat out of the avocado. I like to slice them in half like this first. Give it a twist. Oh, it's pretty ripe, it's not too bad. Take this knife in here too, just twist a little bit. The pit should pop out. Put that to the side. Go ahead and do all of them quick. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these in half, all right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the skin off the back of our pieces of avocado. Put them right in that bowl. They should all peel pretty quick for us. We've got all of our avocado looking pretty. We're gonna go ahead and get some pico de gallo from our pico de gallo recipe. We've got probably about three tablespoons, about half a cup of it. Just gonna pour that in there. We're gonna give it a little more olive oil. Some pepper. Throw a bit of fresh cracked pepper. And a little bit of salt. Okay, we're gonna mush this up with some of these tons here. Mush it up a 
fishing bowl, put in a nice bowl. Got Peter Cottontail's back again. <laughs> Fresh avocado, fresh guacamole. What do you think, Uma? You don't like guacamole? Looks good. Like guacamole? But, I mean, what if the color changes on this one? Well, what we can do is we'll actually squeeze some fresh lime juice on top of it here in a minute, and that'll keep it from oxidizing. How do you do that? Uh, I'll show you. Let's grab all these limes from over here. Oxidizing. Another little trick too is to throw one of these pits back in here with it and put it in the refrigerator. And that is also said to help keep it from turning color. But just half a lime right on top should do it. Ready? Ready. All done. Hope to see you all later this month for our live session. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Click like below and we'll see you all next time. Walk. Walk away. Walk.